Well, um, probably the best thing, of course, is the mouth guard. Um, you know, with contact sports, whether it's intended or not intended, a contact does occur, and or you get a soccer ball in the face, or you know, a, a hockey stick, or you just fall on your face uh, or on your chin. Um, so m mouth guards are very important, uh, as well as the like in hockey they wear the full face mask, and that's that's certainly important. And um, I, I remember talking to one dentist. He said, you know, I've seen a lot of accidents, but there was only one accident that I had. It was on my child. This is the dentist telling me this. He said the child fell on his hockey stick. He had he had a mouth guard on, or not a mouth guard, a face guard on, and the, the stick went right through and <laughs> chipped his tooth. That I haven't seen. <laughs> uh, I've seen lots of accidents where they didn't wear uh, the, the face guard and fell and got hit or whatever. Uh, but the, the certainly with hockey, the face guard, and it followed by a mouth guard in, in other sports, the mouth guard. And it protects a lot of things. I mean, it protects the, the face, helps to protect the face, the lips, the, the gums, the, the cheeks and whatnot, as well as, um, as protecting the teeth, which is the ultimate goal. But I think with, uh, with the mouth guard too, it also protects uh, from head injury because you can get concussion. And that's, that's why boxers wear a mouth guard because they get hit to the jaw. Not that we're suggesting all this occur with, with children, but uh, just to give you the idea why boxers wear it, it keeps the, uh, you've all, I'm sure you've heard of the temporomandibular joint, it opens it up. And so that if you get hit in the, in the jaw uh, by accident, it won't ram the, um, the jaw up into the I, into the rest of the skull and give you a concussion, so it helps there as well. So, um, and there's there's a few ways of getting a mouth guard. One is is you know going to the sports store and getting those ones for about ten dollars, and um, um, and then just putting them in hot water and having them mold to the teeth. And and uh, I have no objection with that, especially with the younger age where teeth are um, teeth are coming in and teeth are falling out. You don't want to get into the expensive kind that you can get at the dentist, and uh, and then halfway through the season, uh, it doesn't fit anymore. And once the all, all the adult teeth are in and in, firm, in, in sort of a stationary position, then getting getting the the molded ones that uh, we send out to the lab or some dentists will actually make them in their office. Uh, doing those, uh, it stays in a little bit better, and, and they can talk, and uh, it's a lot easier to work with. And then in, I think in football, I think you've seen uh, some of the professional football players where they, they it's just attached to their, uh, to their helmet or part of their helmet and they can take it in and out so that when they're actually um, you know, going through the, the downs call and, and into the play, they, they put it back in their mouth. So mouth guards are a very important factor in, in preventing.